closer look at how we can take things from Rhino and put it into uh, put it into Forma. And let me put myself onto this part of the screen. So this is my Rhino screen, as you know, and these are the things that I've already imported. But when I click on Forma, Forma here, it pops up here. Okay, so it can be different in your case. So if I take this off here and then turn it off, if I type Forma, it will be coming here or you can right click to this show panels and put Forma onto that panel as well. So one thing that we want to do now is to play around with the layers. So let's turn off everything except the side limits and explode this block. Okay, and one thing we can do here is to like copy object to layer, turn this off, and maybe with this one, what we can do here is these are probably tricky curves, right? Due to the slope that we're having. So one thing we can do here is to uh, maybe project them or we can play around with these versions of them. So why don't we offset this one to let's say 15 meters each, but they are not so good in that end. So why don't we use something as false? So let's draw something, okay? So let's start with here, go here, go here, go here, 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 and here, and maybe here. Can we offset this? Let's offset this, I don't know, like 10 meters, 15 meters, this one. Yeah, they are, they, we cannot offset this due to the types of the corners and etc. So why don't we, okay, why don't we finish this something as follows. Okay, and this one might be our one edge. And one thing we can do here is to uh, copy this, sorry, join this. There are now one closed curves. And one other thing we can do, the next thing that we can do is to draw another one amongst these, because we probably have some roads inside here, right? So we can have something that is taking off from these roads, maybe we can turn off the roads now. And if we curve boolean this or if we say um what we can do to make this work we can say split split this one with this one so we have this curve and we have this curve due to being three-dimensional we are having some troubles with this i guess but um if i undo this can do here is to another undo for this one as well oh sorry okay so like let's do it this way we have this extrude this put it down take this curve out and split or can we trim with this let's try to trim this is the cutting object this is the curve that we want to trim this one as well this portion this portion as well this portion and this portion as well now we can turn this off and one thing we can add here is to put this one here and this one this one okay okay so this is going to be our massing here and the next massing that i want to do is to maybe provide uh, maybe provide uh something like this a really long l shape 
goes alongside this one connects them here as well so we can say okay join all this we can say join all this we can extrude this to 25 or 40 meters okay can we cap this we can't cap this that's fine we can extrude this for 30 meters we can extrude this for 20 meters and one other thing that we can do here is to like maybe uh patch this to make sure but in order to let's not make them patch let's do something as follows so that we know that oh hold on is this working okay these are working so one thing that i want to do here is to uh, like a provide kind of a provide kind of a steep uh, geometry that is defined though rather than un being undefined so i can have this here i can push this down like um this maybe putting it down here and maybe rotating it a bit further putting it down okay it's just a test now so you can feel as much as free as much as i can do extend this surface extend surface to here and trim and i can do the same thing for this portion but this time i want it to slightly less angle so we can say trim and we probably won't be able to cut this still for that one what i'm thinking is to have a surface that has three points so this one this one and this one so if i just push this a bit upwards and extend this or if you don't do that at all, what would happen? Let's see. I hope they are stay under the topography. So extend surface. Extend this here as well. Extend this here as well. Just slightly moving it up. And then trim now. Why I'm doing all this? Because I want my surfaces to be clear as, as clear as possible, okay, so that I can cap them. And if we move them onto this location here and cap them, and when I turn on my site limits, vegetations, buildings, and terrain, uh, I don't need to open my buildings, but now you see I have another proposal that can be sent directly. So what I'll be doing here now is to take this, click here, and which layer I'm having now. This layer is layer three. So let's send this layer three to Forma. And when I send this to Forma, it obviously will ask me the same login process and then Let's go to our Forma connection and then see if we are receiving anything. So I sent layers to Forma and if we, let's see where we receive those. If we receive those. Navigator, do we have them here somewhere? Where do we have them? In the extensions maybe? Uh, let's try it again. And I sent this layers to Forma, but we, do we have anything there? 
I don't see anything in former, if I'm not mistaken. Where are these units? This is the library, library, navigator, in proposal one maybe. Roads, terrain, roads, buildings. I preview this off. I preview off the vegetation. Where would we be seeing our geometries that are run to? Am I sending the wrong? I select this and send to. What are the, what is this generic generic? Oh, so it's gonna be going into the generic. So let's see if we have it in generic generic. Do we have it in generic? Oh, we have it here, but it's come onto a spot where it where it's supposed it doesn't supposed to be. So let's maybe. Turn off these buildings. All right, so I have them here, and if I move them um, from here to, let's put it there for a second, and then let's move them from this point to this spot, but not like this. So undo. Select them all, obviously, and move. Select the spot, select this spot, and we are having this in. So one thing that we can do here, if you see it already here, it now it's in the generic mode. So one thing I can do here is to come up with something called, like, let's say, duplicate this proposal and rename it proposal from Rhino. Okay. And this is proposal from Rhino. So preview this on, preview everything on, not you and turn you off and delete this, select them all maybe, and then delete them all. Select them all, delete them all, and oh, sorry, we don't we need the generic one? Oh, no, we don't need them. Delete them all, and we turn on the generic. And when I select this, you see it has the location and it has a building and everything, but it's being understood as a messing, as far as I understand. This might be the problem. So let's delete this. And let's send this as a build. Okay, so this time instead of generic, let's connect this to building, not the generic. How we do how we can change this? Maybe we can change this in here. How we can how are you going to change that? I want to send this as a building, but... Oh, now it's in the building. Okay, now we could... Aha! Uh -huh. Now what we are seeing is quite nice. When we put it into the building, when we put it into a generic, so when we put it into the... When we click generic, it's generic. When we click building, it's building and we can specify some functions. This is good because now what we can do here is we can say residential, but we don't want to do that, right? What we can do here, we can go to the layers. We can change this one to this one. Change object to layer. We can change this one to this one. Change object to layer. And now if I come back to formal, Layer two is this layer. 
Layer two is something we can put anything. Okay. You are going to be building and you'll be um commercial and you'll be uh building, you'll be uh housing. And now if I send this to Forma. Oh, we already delete those, right? If I put this on, yeah. We need to undo a lot of things here. <laughs> or we don't actually. Just delete this, delete this, delete this. And delete this completely so we, we can start over. So we are having the, yeah, we are having the buildings or as buildings so let's duplicate this but delete this delete this as a whole delete this as a whole as a whole delete the vegetations not this site limit, of course. And you as well. So now if we send this data, but before let's rename this proposal from Rhino. And just send this in. And now I'm having these buildings. I'm not sure why they're getting here, but that's okay. I can easily move this to my site limit, as I already know. And now I can start playing around with this. So when I select this, you see it's a building. There are some metrics that we are having here. Uh, unfortunately, as far as I understand, we cannot like convert this into like the uh buildings with masses etc but one one beautiful thing related to this one is now i can come over here and then easily run some our analysis okay and then let's run the sun our analysis for this massing or for this approach and then we can have different proposals different calculations right I'm not sure if we click on sketch 3d can we convert this into the plans but we'll see so we let me let me pause the recording as we are waiting for the results of the analysis all right, so we are good with the analysis. So if I come over here and then view analysis three, now I can see the analysis on the building sites that we are running the analysis through, right? 21st of June and 21st of December. And the good thing is now, even though it's still the same name, but I can compare these results. And I come over here to compare. Now I can compare this one with this one. I can find. Okay. So we see obviously this is a bit like a way more matured model with the heights and everything, but this is also fine too. And that is pretty much it for this video in the next one we'll continue to explore the connections between forma and the other extensions